YouTube, what's going on, YouTube? What is going on? What is happening, man? Of course, it's your guy. One more time, Nedra Elix Jr. And now I'm back with another fragrance video. Smell good family. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, doing great, doing fantastic. Positive energy, positive vibes. Y'all know how we rock out here in this channel, man. Positive vibes only. All right, so we are back. Is it a... It's a... All you got to do is just kind of go with the flow. You trying to... You feeling good and you trying to do more... Take one. Go Yankees. YouTube, what's going on? YouTube, what's going on? What is happening, man? Of course, it's your guy. One more time, Desiree Ellis Jr. And I'm back with another fragrance video. Smell good family. Hopefully, everyone is doing great, doing well, doing fantastic. Positive energy, positive vibes. Y'all know how we rock out here in this channel, man. Positive vibes only all right so today we are back with my favorite video to do each and every week and that is the weekly rotation video all right so dealing with some fall temperatures here and there this week probably around the mid 50s to the mid 70s for the high all week long able to get uh be a bit more flexible uh with the fragrance uh, my fragrance range all right so i'm a seasonal wearer um i only wear certain fragrances in certain situations and in certain temperatures and things of that nature yes i'm one of those guys all right but this week i thought we had a dope week i think we have a dope week every week but we had a dope week uh this week so let's go ahead and tap in on sunday had to go to work it was a weekend uh work warrior type of vibe but i really enjoyed my fragrance of the day uh from the house of initio we went with paragon paragon had been on my list for about a year year and a half now and I don't love everything from Initio, but I really love Must Therapy and I really love Paragon, all right? And the beautiful plum, Palo Santo, um, you know, light black, black pepper spice that you get to this. But the feature overall on my skin is the plum and the sandalwood. Very smooth fragrance, very versatile for the cooler months, um, particularly particularly for the fall um, that I will be wearing this probably in the winter too, because I'm down here in Jacksonville. So, you know, we kind of fluctuate, fluctuate all the time with temperatures, but great wear. The sillage on this was incredible. I was getting wasps of myself throughout the day. That sixth, seventh, eighth hour, the wasps was still um, maneuvering pretty good um, off of me. Um, and it's just overall a really beautiful scent. Um, easy to wear, um, but just something that you guys are gonna be seeing a lot of as we go through fall and as we go through the winter months. From the House of Initio, on Sunday, we went with Paragon. Paragon, love this stuff. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance. On Monday, usually an off day for me, but it was not this Monday. So we were still, you know, all hands on deck with hurricane recovery and assisting those who, um, you know, were in need and, and, and things of that nature with, um, uh, with the company that I work for. And, you know, going in, slacks, button down, um, hard bottoms on. This is just one of those scents that kind of, you know, matches that vibe. From the house of Nishane, we went with the B612. B612 on Monday, beautiful modern, modern day fougere barbershop style scent. The cashmere wood is really the feature in here. You get this dryness, smooth addition to the lavender freshness, um, the spices, some earthy touches in this as well. But the cashmere and wood is the featured uh, note, at least off of my skin. Great performer, last eight to 10 hours, never have an issue with performance. This is a fragrance that I'll have for life. I wish I could have got it in 100 ml. I don't even know if this is available in 100 ml like ever. Trust me, I've been looking, but if it's not, I'm still going to keep this um, in my collection as long as I'm around, all right? So from the house of Nishane, Great, great, great fragrance. Love this stuff. We went with Nisha Nays, D612 on Monday. All right. Up next on Tuesday, again, we were experiencing fall like temperatures. And I tend to love to wear this flanker um, more in the cooler months. I tend to wear the EDT more in the spring and the summertime, the warmer months. And this just kind of works. It works from the house of Hermes. We went with uh, Terra Hermes, O Intense. Vetiver, I almost dropped the bottle. Oh, intense vetiver. This is for the dogs. <laughs> this is for the most masculine of men. Um, not saying women couldn't test this out, but this is super duper masculine. And you get the earthy touches, you get the very uh, sparkly, rindy citruses um, in this fragrance, in this fragrance, and it's just a beast. 
It is a beast. This is a very well put together, put together man. And going to the office, this is something that just works. I think I was wearing like darker colors that day and this just fit, man. So beast of a performer, um, not for everybody. Please get your nose on a sample or a discovery set or whatever you need to do. I don't recommend blind buying this, but this is one of my personal favorites um, out of all the masculine offerings in my collection. On Tuesday, from the house of Hermes, we went with the Terre d'Hermes, O Intense Vetiver. O Intense Vetiver. I really, really dig that fragrance for sure. All right, moving along on Wednesday. Wednesday, I wore a fragrance that has been this year, you know, the house has been uh, one of my favorite discoveries of 2024. This fragrance has been one of my favorite fragrances that I've discovered in 2024. From the house of Nazar Fragrances, we went with Black Leopard. Black Leopard on Wednesday. This stuff is sensational. Sweet orange, tobacco, tonka bean. This stuff is incredible. Beautifully blended, heavier fragrance, thicker base fragrance. This is something that you don't need a lot of sprays off of, uh, a lot of sprays of um, to get a really healthy wearing. This is a different experience when it comes to fragrances, man. I, there's nothing in my collection that smells like this, and I haven't smelled anything outside of my collection that smells like this. It's just something about the House of Nazar that I resonate with, and it's really, really, really good, man. So you can save 15% uh, off anything going on on Nazar. Use my code KingDedrick15. See for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Don't listen to me. Experience it for yourself and see if there's something over at Nazar that you can rock with. If it is, great. If it's not, at least you tried. All right. On Wednesday from the house of Nazar, we went with the Black Leopard. Black Leopard. All right. Coming on on Thursday, the weekend started off, all right? So even though I had to pick up an extra day earlier in the week, I was able to get that back towards the end of the week. So long weekend for me starting on Thursday. It was the coolest day of the week. I think it was 47 degrees Thursday morning, taking my kids to school and just moving around at the grocery store. Usually on my days off during the week, I'm just kind of handling those errands so I don't have to do it during the weekend. On Thursday, from the house of Agan, we went with the Lom Arial L Intense. One of my favorite from the entire line. It's either second or third, but lately it's been second. Take that girl on Lom Arial DNA, that all men featured. But in here you get this chili pepper, and I was like this cherry, cherry type of um, outcome of this fragrance, man. It's kind of like some, like the EDP plus spices. That's what I get. Leathery feel as it dries down. This stuff is beautiful, man. It's really good. I really thoroughly enjoyed it. And at first when I, it was the um, the EDP, always number one. And then it was either like the extreme, which I love with the plum note in there. But something about this spicy um, development with this fragrance really keeps me interested in it. So on Thursday, great performer. Great performer, lasts on my skin throughout the day. Got some good wafts just moving around, moving uh, moving out and about. Cause I you know, was in the streets a lot on Thursday taking care of things. But on Thursday from the house of Guerlain, we went with the Lone Ideal L Intense. One of my favorites from the line, one of my favorites from the house. This one is slept on. The bottle styles look different now. So if you're searching for it, make sure you're reading, you know, correctly. Cause they all look the same, with the same sticker. It's weird, but it's out there, okay? On Friday, same type of vibe, um, off, running around, you know, getting my car washed and just kind of doing a lot of different things on Friday. And uh, this is a DNA that I fall in love with, um, but this inspired take on this fragrance is crazy good. And what am I talking about from the house of Dumont? We went with Solario Elysium on Friday. I've talked about this fragrance a lot in the second half of 2024, and this is a very close take. Very close take on Ormond Jane's Mont Tobacco Intensivo. All right, so eh, all in all, when you're talking Verano, the Parfum, the original, like they all, you know, the DNA is kind of run, is running rampant through the Mont Tobacco um, different flankers. But this one leans more on the Intensivo. Why is that? More of the tobacco, more of the leather. It's a little bit more denser, a um, little bit more 
um, you know, not so much citrusy like the Verano. Verano has this beautiful grapefruit note up top. Um, and uh, either way it go, you can't, you can't uh, lose if you're into the DNA. This is my favorite DNA right now. Versatile, everyday. If I had a signature scent, which is kind of impossible for me to do because <laughs> I wear so many different fragrances and experience so many different things as a content creator. If I did have one, this would be it. I love it, man. I love it more than Silver Mount Water, Gentle Fluidity Silver, all of the DNAs that kind of, you know, uh, rival, you know, each other um, with this type of uh, uh, setup with this fragrance. I've kind of put them all in the same vein. Um, but this is way, way less cheaper than Montebanco Intensivo. That's almost a $300 fragrance from Ormond Jane. This right here, you can get this for around like 50, 55 bucks and it performs well. It's really close in that 90th percentile because someone's gonna ask me. Um, so if you're into it, if you're into that DNA but you don't wanna pay that price, it's a hell of an option. On Friday, from the house of Dumont, we went with Celerio Elysium, which is again a Montebacco Intensivo take for sure. Good stuff, all right? All right, up next from the house of Yom and Lael to wrap up the week on Saturday. Me and the family went out and about, went to have some breakfast, did a little bit of shopping for the boys, and I just chilled the rest of the day. Some big time college football games over the past weekend, Alabama, Tennessee, Texas, and Georgia. Just a great overall football night on Saturday night. But this was my fragrance, and this is one that I'm talking about for the very first time. And this is a, this is a hell of a take on one of the more popular fragrances that are out there in the community. From the house of Yeoman Lael, we're talking Tiger Eye. Tiger Eye, and what is Tiger Eye all about? Well, it is an inspired take on Bulgari's Tiger, yes. But this one is much more heavier. <laughs> has more body and has more depth. You get that ambery, citrus, woodsy, you know, you know, type of type of breakdown in this fragrance, just like the original. But this is just a little bit more heavier, and off of my skin, and the way it performed throughout the day is just an heavier, not that much heavier. I don't want you to think it's like a, you know, it is an extract apart from concentrated here, but I'm not saying it's like too heavy to recognize the DNA. No, you know, take a Bulgari Tiger, which is a really fresh, beautiful, versatile, everyday scent. This one has a bit more body to it. It's a little bit thicker, all right? It's a little bit more heavier, a little bit more depth, like I said. So enjoyed, enjoyed the uh, experience with Tiger's Eye throughout the day. It lasts me about a good eight to nine hours. Went out, came home. I was, you know, in my office and watching the games. And as I moved around, I could still smell it coming up off me. Really good quality. This is only gonna get better with time. You know, these fragrances are immediately made and immediately distribute, distributed and pushed out. Um, so letting them macerate over time, this is only gonna get better, especially as we get back into uh, spring and summer uh, of 2025. This is gonna be something that's gonna be talked about a lot, but even not, even, even through the fall and even through the winter, this is something that can be worn all the time. So if you know about Tigar, you're not willing to pay that price and you're, you're kinda over the, you know, the ones that you have and you wanna try a different, um, a different, uh, a different, lane to Tiger or a different opportunity to get something else with that DNA, check out Yom and Lil's Tiger Eye. Yom and Lil's Tiger Eye closing out the week on Saturday. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, that was my <laughs> weekly rotation uh, for the week of October uh, the 13th. All right. So seven fragrances. I thought I had a solid week. I thought I had a really good week, but how about y'all? What was y'all's favorite fragrances that y'all wore last week? What was your rotation? Y'all know that I love to uh, see what you guys are wearing. Um, what was new? What was old? What was no? What was yes? You know, I love to see what you guys got going on with your daily fragrance journeys, all right? So let me know down below in the comments, all right? So appreciate all the love and support. Do not take it for granted. Smell good family. I mean a lot to me, man, for just even watching and hitting the thumbs up and sharing the channel is really really dope to see all the love that comes this way um because of you guys so definitely appreciate y'all all right so um till next time you know y'all be cool y'all be safe y'all take care of yourselves it's positive energy it's positive vibes as always remember man you know it, it doesn't cost nothing to be kind to someone doesn't cost nothing to you know um 
just be cool, bro. It, it doesn't cost anything. You know, being cool and just doing your part and doing what you can, you know, it doesn't cost anything to do that. It doesn't cost nothing to smile at somebody. It doesn't cost nothing to hold the door for somebody. It doesn't cost nothing just to do something simple for somebody who it could be, it could turn out to be something so big. All right. So just keep that in mind. All right. So till next time, be cool, be safe, take care of yourselves. Positive energy, positive vibes. Spack it up, spack it down. It's like that thing all around. And remember, remember what you put onto this world. It's you. What you put onto this world is exactly what you are going to get back. That's for sure. Keep that in mind. All right. Peace, y'all. Till next time. Spackle.